He has a group of friends in him. They mess with the flow. It was, um, I, I, they would grow it out, but his wasn't like what you guys see it now. It was very, it was very pretty. You know, not that it's not now, but the, all those guys, they had very pretty hair with the flow. And so I remember they would jab at each other to see who had the best flow each day. I would coach him, and I don't think that we didn't coach him. But we also, once he took over the offense, we just let him play. I mean, there were some times where, you know, you're looking on the film and coaches are saying, hey, what, what play is this? What is this? And I think they still might do that now. He came to one of the Wildcat football camps, and he had his hat around backwards, and I said something to him about it turning around, he turned it right around. And it was more of just how's he gonna respond? And Patrick just responded, turned the hat around, no big deal, you know? And, and so, to me, that was the starting point of building this trust with him, you know, because I didn't know who he was. I mean, all I'd heard was we had, uh, you know, this uh, professional baseball player's kid here now, you know, they've moved in. Patrick was always taking care of the younger kids. He was very prideful of our football program and he wanted to make sure that each kid coming up, you know, had the support system. But there's one photo of him hugging Nate Brooks, who now plays for the Miami Dolphins, for, um, it was a September event, and there's a picture of him with his arm around Nate. And I just, I love that moment because that is a classic Patrick moment. Patrick had earned a certain amount of trust with me that allowed me to be okay with him playing like what he played. Uh, I think that Andy Reid's done the same thing. I mean, he's telling him early on in preseason games, you know, I want you to try to throw I want to see if you can fit it through that little bitty hole over there. And so now he's doing no-look passes and he's doing things like that. What makes us the most proud is that he's a good athlete and he has talent, but he's humble and he's a believer. He's not afraid to take a knee. Um, and I mean, he's, he just hasn't let all of those things go to his head. And he, I mean, he's just, He's just a humble guy.